Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here. In today's episode, I want to show you some tips of navigating RS Logix Micro. Now, here you can see I have a program open. This is actually program 14 from my PLC Basics course. And one of the things I show in the course is how to, uh, you know, when you expand your window and make it bigger, everything doesn't resize automatically. And sometimes you'll get your windows all messed up and, you know, it's a painful to try to rearrange these. So the first tip I want to show you is you can automatically have RS Logix straighten your windows out for you by simply going to Window, Arrange, and accepting Default Project. That's huge, right? And it makes it look really nice. So now I can maximize it again, and I can go to Window, Arrange, OK, and boom, it's beautiful again. That's the first tip. The second tip I want to show you is, you know, most people I meet, they try to go online using this drop down here. Well. If this information here about the driver and the node address is wrong, it doesn't work and they get frustrated. I used to get a lot of calls from people really frustrated about that. But you know, never use that drop down, at least not before you go online the first time. Use comms, system comms, and if I've said this once, I've said it a million times. Use comms, system comms, because that will give you a picture of the RS Who. You'll actually see the RS Who window from RS Links. And if you can see the PLC, then you can select it and either go online, upload, or download. So don't use this drop down here. Use comms, system comms. And that way, if you have selected a PLC, these buttons will become uh, highlighted. They'll not be grayed out anymore. And you'll be able to go online, upload, or download. 